everyone, welcome to Doki Doki Forest. I'm Amy and today I'm going to be doing a flip through of a journal for Flip Through Friday. This is an open collaboration hosted by Christina's Shack. I will list her channel below. What you can do is type in hashtag Flip Through Friday and search for videos. That will pull up all the videos because Every week is different. There are some people doing it every week. Some people are jumping in and out. I haven't done one since before the holidays, so I'm jumping in this week. But yeah, so check out Flip Through Friday. Today I'm going to be sharing some of this journal. This is when I really began to try to journal in earnest again. This is fall of 2018. Um, I journaled on and off through my whole life, but I wasn't really keeping journals until 2018 and this was just a basic journal I had picked up probably from um, Amazon and it's not really meant to hold a lot of papers and get chunky um, so I'm really pushing it here as you can tell it really doesn't like being this stretched out but it's still intact it's holding up in there it's holding in there so I won't show you every page because that would take a long time and that may not even be interesting. So in the beginning I just was doing some doodling here, just some squares, seeing what little guys I could put in there. Drew a little star and then this is a tree that's outside in my front yard that we call the birdie berry tree and we love to watch the wax wings come and eat all the berries and the robins come now and eat all the berries as well too and that sustains them in the beginning of the winter and then there's no more berries so they have to look elsewhere but we do love that and this was me trying to come up with ways to take care of myself books i'm reading right now movies and shows we were watching at the time, or I guess this is just what I was watching. Um, what do I want to do? Number one, go to Japan. How do I do that? Well, we all know. And then, oh, I made a little tree border, but I didn't do anything with that. And this was a page I just sort of went nuts and just wanted to cover the whole thing, which was kind of outside my comfort zone of just filling it and putting so much on a page. And it's all dedicated to Guretama, the lazy egg, who I really love. Um, and randomly, today I heard a cute little chickadee chirping. So a little, some random things say yes to today. I saw a deer run across the shoe fly road. Guretama has the best buns. A cozy day is a wonderful day. So, and then I have my to-do list. Of course, hug my boys. That's the most important. And then this is my December setup for 2018. This is when I was trying out trackers because trackers are so popular, especially in the bullet style journals. But I realized for me personally, um, I'm just not that into trackers. I think they serve a great purpose. Just for me though, I don't really mark them or keep up with them. And um, yeah, so I don't know if I even did it again after this. But it was worth a shot because you just don't know, you know, what kind of things you're interested in and what you're not until you try it. And then um, these are my ideas. I had seen, I wish I could remember who it was. Someone had set up their journal and they had a section for ideas in the beginning of each month. And I thought, well, what a great idea, you know, to write that down. I do like that. Um, I didn't keep up with that either but I do like the idea and then this was a washi tape tree so I just sort of went nuts with the tree and then I added some little animals peeking out of the tree it's like a Griswold tree I guess it's just kind of crazy and loaded let's see these are my top three kawaii characters of 2018 so these are my cute characters I really liked pom pom put in um Pusheen and Guretama, of course. Honorable mentions, also love Little Twin Stars, Sumiko Gurashi, and Rilakuma. And then I was just discovering 
Posukuma, who was, um, who is the big bear mascot for the post office in Japan. It's super cute. And let's see, doodling. Happy mail that I had received. I added something from that. Happy mail again from cute things from Japan. Is there stuff in here? Oh yeah, that's their little brochure, so that's cute. And then this was a Dear Santa letter. My dearest wish is for all of my loved ones to be happy and healthy. That's all I needed. Oh. Also, a Hobonichi Techo, please. I really wanted to get my first Hobonichi, and I did get it that year, so thank you, Santa. And then this is a little tree that I added in the middle. Just folds out like that. Snowman, snow lady, snow babies. The ingredients you need, two eyes, a carrot, and sticks for hands and buttons. I didn't put a hat, but a hat is good, too. Top three memories of 2018. This is a little fold up tree that has some memories in there. Like adopting Sophia, my puppy. Most memorable gift. I think I didn't even, I didn't fill these out. In my life, my boys. My boys are my gift. A letter to my current self. So every once in a while when I do these, um, the kawaii challenges by Rainbow Holic, she oftentimes will have a prompt for a letter to either your current self or your future self. And it is pretty interesting when you go back and you read it. Um, so I do, I do like those. Sometimes it's hard for me to write these. I don't really know what to say to myself, but I do always enjoy reading them later. And then this says, you're doing great. Be kind to yourself. This is an encouraging page. Keep going. Starbucks coffee. You got it. What's back there? Oh, this I think I had an idea and I never finished it. This is me just testing out different pens. This cat is like super excited about the pens. Goals. My goal is to learn Japanese. I'm still, still at the very beginning of that. This was a page I remember, it's funny, I remember I, I actually did not have a good day and I journaled about it, but I didn't want to have that as my journal page. So then I covered it up and wrote things will get better and I just tried to make um, a happy positive page out of a difficult day. And then this was some lovely, this was a sticky kit from Sticky Kit Japan. I used to love getting the sticky kits. I think they don't do it anymore though. Um, or they, they, they do do it, but I don't think it's the same way as it used to be. It used to be like a monthly subscription. This is gorgeous. And the Zaka kits, these were awesome too. This was from Neko Box Japan. Um, I used to get those back when they were located in Japan. I think they may have gone back to New Zealand though. Um, they might, I think they still offer the Neko box, but the shipping got really expensive. I don't know. These are blasts from the past, but they had amazing kits you could get and they would have like a little piece of Japanese dishware in there or pottery or it's really nice. And this was when I first discovered the Japanese artist Mizutama. I wasn't familiar with her work before, but I love it. It's so cute. And I'm sure everyone knows this artist, but this was my first discovery when I learned about her a few years ago. Top three Christmas movies. What do we have here? So my youngest liked The Grinch, then Chipmunk Christmas, then Rudolph. My older son liked Year Without a Santa Claus, The Grinch, and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And for me, It's a Wonderful Life, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and Elf. And Year Without a Santa Claus, also Christmas Story, and Grinch. Okay, well, looks like I had a hard time narrowing it down. And then this is us celebrating. So this is when I tried a more sketch-based 
um, journal. So instead of using stickers, because sometimes I get real sticker heavy or washi tape heavy, and I was just wanting to do something if I just had pen and paper and markers. So I wrote that we listened to our Christmas music CDs, we wrapped presents, my older guy played Zelda, we watched some movies, the dinner, we ate gingerbread cookies for dessert, the books that we read, and then here's our breakfast. We were playing Pokemon, and here we are training Sophia to do some different things, sit and stay. And then they did, the boys decorated the gingerbread house. It's a nice weekend. Letter to my future self. Do not open until December 2019. And then I just drew an animated version of myself, I guess. I don't really look like that, but... Okay, lofty dreams and hopeful wishes for 2019. Run a successful business and save lots of money. Be happy, visit Japan, speak Japanese and read Japanese, make new friends, studio space, be healthy, focus on the positive, be independent, pay off debt. Other than that, not too much. And here's Kyla from Rainbow Holic. Here's when I got some happy mail from her. 2018, what 2018 has taught me? Enjoy right now. Focus on the positive each day. Make time to create. It's okay to nurture yourself as well as others. Set goals and also a plan to achieve them. I am doing great even when things seem tough, even when I'm not sure. The present is the most powerful time. Be here now. Enjoy the present. Here's a little Christmas spread. This is a little card that was tucked in there. Christmas movies we watch. It has little Santas that look like gnomes. This one has a little vintage deer inside. Here's Sophia as a puppy. Goretama. And favorite things. And then here's just some more memories of driving around looking at lights. We've got a napkin here. This is some vintage looking paper. This is a napkin. Another little envelope. This page I didn't quite finish. I had our little display window there and I was probably gonna put more pictures in but I didn't get to it. But I did get this little sparkly unicorn in there. Here we go, my Hobonichi Techo is coming. I'm very excited about that. And this was a page I did for an owl. I had seen an owl that day, so I looked up um, what an owl means, if you see it in nature. And I wrote down what I discovered. And then here's just a little happy page. I just wanted to paint a quick watercolor rainbow and then a little sketch. Here's a little rainbow pond and that is the end here's the goodies pocket goodies pocket and oh there is one thing in there there's a lady with some spiral crazy hair i love it and that is it so that's just a quick flip through but that was one of my earlier journals my first one i mean when i was getting into trying to do a journal kind of every day at this point I wasn't doing it every day until I got my Hobonichi and then I really started doing it every day um, so yeah this was kind of the one that kicked it off in 2018 I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time take care bye bye